Here we are working in the shop again, giving the expedition some love, getting ready for the upcoming season of snow. Mission for today is putting on these ski skins. So these additional ski skins. You can see I already have this one installed. So that is what the finished product looks like compared to what uh, the stock ski looks like. Now this is just a, uh, a solid molded plastic piece here that our ski actually sets in. Pull the carbides and the carbide helps hold it in place. Drill one hole in the front, one hole in the back, and that kind of sucks them up together. And so our ski is gonna go from looking like that to looking like that. Well, the first thing we gotta do is get our ski off. Already loosened that bolt. Should just drop right off like so. We'll save our hardware. So with the ski off our machine now, next order of business is taking off our carbide nuts here. Let's see if I can get this zapped off. No problem. That's the easy part. Getting this thing actually out is gonna be the hard part. Because it doesn't just pop right out. Time to use some persuasion. All right, persuade, persuade. There we go. Well, it ain't pretty, but we don't care about pretty out here. We're gonna wash it up and reuse it. So I got this old one, or I guess the current one, cleaned up. I'll show you how this just drops right in there. Try to get it positioned properly. So there, it'll sit just like so. Got our new nuts on there. The hardware package does come with new uh, plastic locking nuts, so you can uh, throw away the old ones, put the new ones on. So just doing that alone, that has already initially secured our ski skin here on the bottom to the ski on the top. So those are two of the fastening points there. Uh, what we will do now, our last two uh, fastening points are these pre-marked holes on the bottom of the skin. We'll drill one hole through the rear, uh, one hole through the front, and then I have this additional hardware. There's gonna be two more bolts that will go through there to help secure. Now uh, that'll allow us to uh, really suck up and hold that, that toe in. And then also pull, uh, pull the heel in quite a bit. And that's all there is to fasten it. So uh, pretty darn easy. Just the two carbide skeg bolts that help secure it and then two already pre-selected quarter inch holes that you gotta drill, so let's get those done. There you have it. Ski skins are all installed, good to go, ready for the snow. Uh, no idea why it took me one whole season to get these. Uh, just finally bit the bullet. Realized that with the big machine, what was happening was I just didn't have enough uh, stance out front. Anytime I'd get into deep snow, I could feel myself kind of sink in. Uh, I never had any issues flotation wise with the track. It was always my skis and the weight of the machine in the front 
and I would I would kind of nosedive. Uh, the second I'd drop off trail, that ski was just gone. So uh, going, uh, getting an additional three inches of width, and about 32 inches of length. Uh, that's a whole lot of surface area uh, for each ski here. And it also just helps the machine look a little bit more balanced. Big, super wide track in the back. We now have the, the big ski skins on the front, ready for some deep snow. Additional things that I'm gonna be putting on for the season here will be a light bar on the front. Uh, the stock headlights are just not great and the brights are pretty pointless. So gonna put a good uh, light bar to a switch on my dash for those dark days that we get. I'm also going to put kind of a radiator protector on here. Uh, my big fear is just taking a stick right there. Uh, uh, liquid cooled radiator sitting right behind that mesh. Uh, it doesn't take much to poke a hole in it. So I'm gonna bend some aluminum and make kind of a little skid plate uh, protector for this, uh, the front radiator. Uh, so those are my two big things. I'm already on my second windshield, so I don't have any mirrors. I'm not even gonna bother swapping them over. I kinda like the no mirror look. The uh, track and everything back here is doing really well. And currently I have the trapper box off as I am getting it kinda weatherproofed. Uh, so it's sitting over here, just drying out. I'm gonna sand it down a little bit and then install or apply some captain's varnish just to help it uh, with its waterproofing uh, maintain that that wood well so uh, little things here and there we're still pretty low on snow for december but it's coming we'll be out on the trails in no time so making sure we can do everything we can to get this machine tip top shape